Hello, my name is... I cut out foil shapes and made my picture. Hello, my name is Helen. And my name is Sally. We had an art attack with foil. Hello, my name is James. And my name is Mark. We use pieces of foil cut into shapes and stuck them down to make our picture. Ah, good art attacks. And you know, isn't this a great art material? Kitchen foil. And you don't need a lot of it to create a great effect. Try this. Cut a square of cardboard from a cardboard box that's roughly 10 centimetres square. And then from the same cardboard box, cut some thinner strips that are about one centimetre wide. And then just place those thinner strips around the edge of your cardboard square. And the idea is to create a raised wood frame around that square. And when you're happy with the position of those strips, just glue them into place. And when it's dry, you'll have something that looks like that, a raised cardboard frame. Then take another piece of cardboard and on it, draw one of your initials. Now I'm going to draw the letter N. And it's a good idea to draw it in really thick, chunky lettering and you have to make it the right size to fit inside that cardboard frame that you've just made so if you make it too big you can always trim it up when you're cutting out or you could measure it when you're drawing it so i'm just guessing it just to show you and look what i'm doing here i'm just putting these little triangular tips on like that to make it look a bit fancier and it doesn't have to be perfect at this stage because you can neaten it up when you've cut it out and that's what I've done here and you have something like that and then turn it over and put some glue on the back there like that and then take your raised cardboard frame and place your initial inside and you see what I've done here I've made the initial the right size to fit inside the frame really snugly there and so it doesn't actually touch the frame itself then take some PVA glue, you know, the ordinary school glue in the squidgy bottles, and slop your PVA glue all over your initial and all over the background and all over the frame. And again, you don't have to be neat. You don't have to be neat with any of this because I'm going to cover the whole thing in a minute. And when you've covered it all in glue, you take your kitchen foil and place that over the top and watch this technique you just the kitchen foil down into and around your initial and the shape of the frame and see what happens you start to see the shape of the initial and the frame through the kitchen foil just press it down into all the nooks and crannies and if you've got any foil left over at the edges just fold that over on the and just neatly Tape that into place like that. And when you've neatened up the whole of the back, it'll look something like that. Look at that. You see this raised initial and the raised frame, and on the back, it's nice and neat. And then take some poster paint, plop a small amount of water into the poster paint. Don't water it down too much. And then just paint your poster paint all over your initial all over the background and all over the frame. Just slopping it on. And when you've covered the whole thing in slightly watered down poster paint, the good bit. Take a piece of kitchen roll or tissue paper or loo roll and just dab the wet paint off the raised surface. Get all that paint, that wet paint, off the frame and your initial. Leave it on the background, just take it off that raised surface. Do it very carefully. And when you've taken the wet paint off all the raised surfaces, it'll look something like this. Look at that. There it is, your own kitchen foil plaque. And you can do your whole name in exactly the same way. Look at that, same technique. I think that looks 
Ooh. Or you could even try this. Do a very simple design, draw it onto the cardboard first, and then stick down the thin strips and cardboard shapes in the same way I've just done.